Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about the mess. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is according to the Neighborhood Talk. Now, before we get into this story, I want to be very clear. I'm not arguing with none of y'all. I'm not fussing with none of y'all. I ain't going back and forth with none of y'all in the comments, comment section. I said what I said. You said what you said, and we ain't changing it. <laughs> okay? All right, so listen to this. Uh, again, this is according to the Neighborhood Talk. Okay, then, Super Bowl halftime show producer Jesse Collins confirms that Jay-Z solely picks the performer every year. He always picks right. So neighbors get into this this past week. The internet has been ablaze regarding the selection of Kendrick Lamar to do next year's Super Bowl halftime performance. Many fans felt like Lil Wayne should have been chosen for the job and those same people have blamed Jay-Z for hating Wayne. Well, the producer of the halftime show is putting all the rumors to rest and backing Jay-Z's Jay decision to choose Kendrick Lamar. Jesse Collins spoke with Variety about how the Super Bowl performance comes to life and how Jay-Z does a great job of picking the performer every year. He also shows love for Lil Wayne, but still says Kendrick will do an amazing job. We love Wayne, Collins says. There's, all, there's, always, there's always Vegas odds on who's going to get to perform. But I think we're going to do an amazing show with Kendrick, and I think everybody's going to love the halftime show. I know Kendrick is going to work exceptionally hard to deliver an amazing show. It's a decision that Jay makes, Colin says, of choosing the annual halftime act. Since we've been on board with the show, he's made it every year, and it's been amazing. Uh, he always picked right. Thoughts, neighbors. Of course, everybody in the comments is like, y'all on Nikki, y'all on Nikki, and I apologize. You owe Nikki an apology. You better bow down to Queen Onika. Okay, all that carrying on and stuff. The only way I honestly feel that Nikki would deserve an apology is if Jay Z had come out and I haven't heard anything. I'm not saying that he hasn't. Maybe he has, and I just haven't heard. If Jay-Z was out doing interviews saying that he is not the one that picks the halftime performance and then it got out that he actually lied, then okay, that would make him, of course, a liar. However, I don't think that this this doesn't move, this doesn't move anything for me. It just doesn't. Because at the end of the day, the way that people are acting is. As if, as if Jay-Z wouldn't pick some white person, girl. Or as long as he's been working with the NFL, he's only picked white acts. Then I could see that could be a, that could be a conversation starter. I go, why is it Jay-Z has to take it over the end, take it over the halftime show and all he wanna pick is white acts, right? But him not picking Lil Wayne and the people being outraged is only because he picked Kendrick Lamar and the way that people are acting and I'm not some rap connoisseur. So those who are back me up. I have seen Kendrick Lamar here and there on stage. I've listened to some of his songs. The way that people are acting as, is, as, is as if Jay-Z said, we're going to put Ice Spice on stage. <laughs> You know, much crunch, crunch, much, much. Like it's it's weird. It's it, the outrage is only because it was Kendrick Lamar, and people felt that Wayne, being born and raised in New Orleans, and because the Super Bowl was now being held, held will be held in New Orleans for what the eleventh time that now we're gonna cause this outrage. What was this outrage before when it was held in New Orleans the last time? And like we said the other day, girl, if we're, if, if we're gonna start making a qualifier for people to perform at the Super Bowl, is that you must be, or if, that, if, if you have an entertainer that was born in that city or state, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, then that person has to perform, then y'all should've put 702 on stage. When they was when they had the when they had the Super Bowl in Vegas, this this 
the outrage that has that has happened is only because they picked Kendrick Lamar and people feel like it has something to do with Drake. And because Kendrick Lamar had a very successful year. Again, to me, this doesn't change anything. Because the only people that were online fussing and cussing and acting and acting a fool was us. I didn't see Jay-Z down nowhere doing interviews talking about I don't pick for Super Bowl performances. Nikki was just upset because she felt like Lil Wayne should have been performing because he's Lil Wayne and because he was born in New Orleans. But it still doesn't change the fact that Kendrick Lamar is going to be performing. I don't know why y'all even think that Lil Wayne's name was even being mentioned. Y'all got Lil Wayne coming out doing videos. He even said in the video, I'm acting like the position was already my, already my, my position. Exactly. <laughs> this man probably don't even know what year it is. And and I and, and, and again I would feel I could really feel that people could have an argument if Jay Z started working with the NFL and the only thing he was putting in the halftime show were the Taylor Swifts and the the Katy Perrys and the Kelly Clarks's then we could say well girl you're not gonna put no black acts for the Super Bowl halftime show because since he's been there that's all I pretty much seen <laughs> we gonna be honest. <laughs> For the most part, I mean, we saw Shakira in, you know, J Lo. But for the most part, <laughs> it's it's almost a tad bit. If if Kendrick Lamar is as talented as people say that he is, I would feel some type of way if I were a fan of Kendrick Lamar's. If I was Kendrick Lamar, I would feel some type of way because the way that she, the way that people are acting as if I don't or I shouldn't be deserving of this moment, as if I'm some talentless piece of, sh it will kind of it will kind of bother me. Again, y'all act like keep an ice spice on stage or sassy red. Hello, keep putting Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> What's the problem? Did Jay Z come out and say that I never picked the NFL? I never picked the 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 the, the, the halftime show performances. I remember him coming out years ago saying that he felt like the selection process should change. But since this since this since this conversation started happening about the NFL the the halftime show performer not being chosen, which was Lil Wayne for some people. Has Jay-Z come out and said, I don't have anything to do with that? That's really the city? Because that's what Google says. That's another thing, too. I Googled it. It said it on Google. Other people were basically regurgitating the same information. But I don't, I don't see how this is. It's, it's not that big of a deal. Kendrick Lamar is still performing. Lil Wayne is not. Case closed. Rashida. So Rashida posted a video of her getting her, getting her hair trimmed by her husband, Kirk Frost. And, you know, we all thinning. I'm thinning right here at the top. You really can't tell. It's thinning, but it's not like clearly I can I, I still got a little piece girl, I still got a little piece I'm holding on because she holds it on baby for dear life so I got a little piece you know I, it's, she thinning you know what I'm saying I'm getting older um you know and you know for some men when it starts to go it hits right here first girl so let me hit right here mine hit right here okay um, you know, some of the girls, they, you know, they, they, they hairline start pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. So I'm still, you know, I think I got a few more years to go. We just, I just can't go past this length because this all right here will grow out to here. This right here gonna go this, <laughs> it's gonna go this high. 
<laughs> Girl, we're gonna have this. We're gonna have this much hair. Everything else, God, I can have forty-two inches down my back with the rest of my hair. This right here, because she ain't gonna go nowhere. Um, so we are, we're we're all thinning, but you do you do know that they say that stress really does play a part in your health, <laughs> um, your hair. So Rashida posted a picture. I want y'all to look at this picture. <laughs> it was a video. We're gonna. I'll play the video in the and I'll post a picture. I want y'all to look at that picture. Rashida hair is so thin. <laughs> Going I tell you, I said you 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 trimming girl. She need to cut girl. You need to cut. She need a bob girl. When I tell you, I can see Rashida mirror in her wall through her hair. Keep looking right here. Right there a little space by her shoulders. Rashida hair is thin boots. So I don't know. It looked like Rashida has shaved all this off. Girl, you know how the girls shave all their hair off around, but then they keep that little pot they, they, they keep that patch right here. It looks like Rashida shaved her hair all around and she started growing it back. And it's growing back. And so now this part back here is past her shoulders down her back, but this is still hitting right here. Girl, but then I was like, girl, it either is that, either she had a dude that we just didn't know about, or either girl, that's that stress from that man of yours. Hmm? Rashida, baby, cut it off. Girl, cut it off and start all over. Girl, just girl, just get you a just just girl, do the big girl. At this point, girl, do the big chop. Girl, just do the big chop. Because this right here, it's a no for me, Sheeta. And girl, why you need to go to the beauty salon? Girl, all of, girl, you got Alonzo, you got Shakana Joe, girl, you got all these beauticians down in Atlanta. And the only thing you can do is go in the restroom and let your man cut your hair. Girl. I mean, girl, look at look, girl, look at that. That's a mess. Look, girl, look at the video. Girl, you can literally look over her shoulder and see how thin Rashida's hair is. You see my trim job? You know, you can show how, look, it's really me. <laughs> show that camera, Carter. Show the back up. Show my face. This really me on the cut, cut, look. <laughs> I really be doing this. this. You see my trim job? You know, you can show how, look, it's really me. <laughs> show that camera, Carter. Show the back up. Show my face. I was about to say post Sheeta, but I can't even say post Sheeta because, girl, you the, you the one who put yourself in this situation. Let me say something, girl. Let me say something. Sheeta is grown. Sheeta, I'm going to stay in that situation. Sheeta. Ain't leaving her man. I don't feel bad for that lady. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. If she don't want to stay with her and walk around her girl half ass ball, then girl, just walk around her half ass ball. If you want to walk around her with a bob, girl, with a bob, girl, underneath, girl, with a bust down over the top, then girl, do a bob and a bust down over the top. That might be a new hairstyle for Sheeta. I don't know. She didn't hear like a mess. Girl, I, I would just, if I was, she, I was, I'm about to D, I want to DM, I want to DM Rashida so bad, Rashida. Baby, just cut your hair off and start over. Girl, just cut your hair back to my lint. Girl, just do one big chop and just start all over. Because your hair look a mess. <laughs> Girl, I can see the mirror through your hair, sister. I can see the mirror through your hair. That's how thin your hair is. I can see your mirror. Girl, through your hair. Tommy, he going to trim it. Girl, he need to see, he need to start up here. Girl. You need to have a little, you need to have a bob. <laughs> okay, at this point. I'm just saying. This is according to the Jasmine brand. So Shannon Sharp dropped new merch inspired by viral IG live sex incident. Hey. Looks like Shannon Sharp is turning his shortcomings into winnings. 
Following his sexual encounter while on Instagram Live, the retired NFL player turned media personality has dropped new merch inspired by the crazy ordeal. It is in the now deleted post of Shannon Sharp announcing the release of the t-shirts he wrote, That's My Michelle, uh, That's My Michelle shirts dropped. I told y'all to leave that lady alone, but y'all kept harassing Unc, knowing that man ain't got one good nerve left, nerve left thanks to Chad. So here we are. Are you happy now? <clears throat> As covered, Shannon Sharp was recently trending uh, a trending topic in the media after he accidentally went live on Instagram while having sex with a woman presumed. <laughs> well, girl, y'all presumed it was a woman. Hello. Hey. Hey. Talking about, girl, it had, the person had a feminine voice. Girl, please. I'm not saying it wasn't a woman. I'm just saying, because stop acting like grown men ain't walking around here sounding like bitches. <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyways. Uh, so I'm going to change this. They said why, why he went live on Instagram happened with a woman who they, with a person who they presumed to be a woman. Um, and her name presumed to be Michelle. Okay, while neither Sharp nor the woman um, can be seen on camera, both voices can be heard in the background, including him say um, the name Michelle in the middle of an intimate encounter. Y'all already know the story. Girl, let me just say this. Listen, if you're going to make your money, make your money. You know, girl, we had Candy Burris on Real Housewives of Atlanta, girl, turning, you know, damaging accusations against her into a whole sex dungeon tour. So... If you're going to get money, get money, right? But I just, I don't know why. I don't know why I feel this is so lame. I, don't, I think it's whack in a way. And based off of, I've never went live on Instagram a day in my life. Um, and when it happened, I was like, how do you even go live on Instagram? I was over here trying to figure it out. I was like, oh. And so then we went through the steps the actual steps of how can you accidentally just go live on Instagram? Like, you know how you can accidentally butt down somebody? Like, that's easy to do, <laughs> okay? How do you accidentally go live on, on Instagram? I accidentally went live on YouTube one time, and that's only because I was already preparing to go live, and... I was I had a lot going on in my head and I accidentally went went ahead and went I I already had it scheduled for a live and I went ahead and clicked on the button and then I put go live like it was just I don't know what I was thinking. So that like that was really because I just had a lot going on in my head. But even to go live on YouTube, you still have to go through a few steps. You just can't log on to YouTube, click on girl, you gotta go. <laughs> girl. So, and we're going through the steps. How do you accidentally go live on Instagram? And now you've turned around and now it's just the other day you were so embarrassed and had to call around and apologize to your kids and to your family. But now you're selling t-shirts talking about that's my Michelle. Girl, get money. But how, who am I going to walk around with a shirt that says that's my Michelle? I mean, I guess I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't get, I guess I just don't get it. And I don't, and I was thinking about this earlier. Is there really a big difference between what Shannon Sharp did versus like what Candy did? Because Candy has some accusations thrown her way. And then she turned around and turns it into some money. Shannon had an embarrassing moment, embarrassing moment, where he accidentally went live on Instagram and he turned around and he's about to make some more money off of it. Or some money off of it, not more. I don't know. I just think it's whack. I don't know why I feel like it's difference. It's a difference. I don't know why I feel that way. I just do. I think because I just think it's whack. <laughs> it is what it is, girl. Shannon, girl, since you got all that, you have been making all that money on YouTube, girl, cash out me. Okay. Anyways, I'm gone. I'm about to have a little glass of wine, honey. And then I'm out of here. I'm a, I'm a little sleepy. That wine going to, girl, give me where I need to be, baby. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good night. Bye, y'all.